Yuji let Satoru Gojo step in as a series protagonist. What the fuck does that even mean? Yuji Itadori sucks. As both an MC and as a character in general, he has completely ruined and tarnished his likability, according to this CBR article that I found the other day. Now, in case you guys were confused or thought that I was going to slander one of my personal favorite main characters in New Gen Shonen, don't worry, I'm debunking a CBR list where they talk about 10 ways Yuji Itadori has ruined his likability in Jujutsu Kaisen. So, let's jump into it with number 10 being that Yuji invited Tsukuna into his body without considering considering the consequences. That's a strange way to say that he was willing to put his body on the line in order to save a person that he just met. He literally is willing to in ingest a cursed finger um, and take on unknowing consequences all in order to save somebody that he just met that day. I feel like that, if anything, shows how good of a person he is, and if anything, would enhance his likability quite a bit. I get what CBR's trying to say here. They're like, oh, he, you know, got, he got Sukuna to enter into this world or whatever, right? And he became a vessel for Sukuna, this extremely powerful and evil curse. And that in and of itself is a bad thing. Like, that wasn't a good thing, right? But there was no possible way for Yuji to have known that. And for the audience or CBR, whoever wrote this, to blame Yuji as a main character for Sukuna's actions is a little bit strange to me. Yuji is a victim of this situation here especially when you know about what happened in the manga how this is all planned out things of that nature you understand that yuji was kind of primed to be in this situation and was really just being the best type of person he could be which is one who would try to save people with his unbelievable strength and durability if that makes him unlikable to you i think you need to work things out in your head now number nine is that he gave in to sukuna's power and nearly killed himself and megumi now, um, he did kill himself, just a slight correction. He was brought back, but, you know, he did kind of die. Uh, in any case, he gave into Sukuna's power so, like, Megumi and him and Nobara wouldn't die. Like, there was really no winning that situation, right? They were thrust into a battle that they had no right being in, right? With Yuji being a sorcerer for no longer than like a month, Megumi not being able to handle a special grade and Nobara not being able to handle a special grade, what did you want Yuji to do in that situation, right? The only person who could have possibly changed the tides of that battle without outside help or without Sukuna could have been Megumi, but even he didn't understand his full potential at the time and had no idea like how limitless almost the skill and power that he had with his 10 shadows curse technique. If Yuji didn't do that, Megumi, Nobara, and him all would have died anyway as the special grade curse would have either killed Megumi and him on the spot or it would have just, you know, like obliterated Yuji and left Megumi out and, you know, it, it, there was no winning that situation, right? I don't understand how Yuji doing his best to get rid of the curse was the worst case scenario. He, he also was under the assumption that if he let Sukuna loose, he'd be able to take control of him after he he's done with whatever he's doing, right? In fact, he had a reason to assume that he would be able to control Sukuna as before he was able to release him and control him at a moment's notice. In any case, you don't really see all this ruins his like ability. Um, it was either die to the special grade or almost die to Sukuna, and I'm pretty sure it was more beneficial to almost die to Sukuna. In any case, number eight, Yuji kept his resurrection a secret from his friends. Completely idiotic. Dumb. It didn't, it was literally physically impossible for Yuji to not have kept this from his friends, right? It, it was, there was just no way. Sukuna literally put in the binding vow that in exchange for reviving Yuji's body, Yuji would literally forget about the binding vow. So, I mean, that's just part of the Jujutsu Kaisen power system. If you don't like it, take it up with Cursed Energy and Binding Vows and Sukuna. Not Yuji, once again, the victim of being manipulated by Sukuna. In any case, number seven, he played in Gojo Satoru's disrespectful resurrection gag. Who is it disrespectful towards? I don't know about you guys, the audience watching this video, but I always perceived it as just like a comedic thing where Yuji and Gojo are both kind of tone deaf and didn't understand how much he mattered to his friends. And that's why Nobara and Megumi were kind of like, dude, what are you doing? It, it was never really played off to be super disrespectful because Yuji was the one that's dead right? Like, if Yuji were to prop up somebody else's corpse and be like, surprise or whatever, maybe I can understand your argument. But Yuji was the dead one here, right? Nobody knew he was alive, so he came out in a little fashion that Gojo, his teacher, manipulated him into doing anyways. It's played off as a very comedic gag, and you guys are kind of really stretching by saying it was really disrespectful. In any case, number six, Yuji played directly into Aototo's toxically masculine hand. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. So their argument here is very strange. They're basically like Toto beats people up for not having good taste in women. Therefore, since Yuji had good taste in women, Yuji bad, which is kind of strange because Toto's whole, you know, what's your, what's your type? First of all, 
isn't toxically masculine because he really he, he, his whole thing is that he wants to see if you're an interesting person or not he doesn't truly care if you like the same type of person he does in fact when he says it to megumi right the only reason he runs up and just just punches him in his fucking dome is because megumi can't give a real straightforward answer he's just like anybody that's good right Kodo's like yeah dude i don't care if it's a woman or a guy like just like what's your type right it don't, it don't doesn't really matter <laughs> which is kind of funny because he just assumed megumi was gay but anyways he was just like yeah what's your type and megumi was like man as long as they're a good person i'm chilling right it do not matter if your booty's fat you know where i'm at <laughs> and Toto's like dude you're a bum and then he punched him in the face right should he have punched megumi in the face for that no but like so yuji yuji's not responsible for that all yuji did is have good taste and get trained by someone who was stronger and more experienced as a sorcerer none of toto's actions of like hitting megumi just get passed off to yuji because they're best friends or brothers or whatever right in fact after their fight versus hanami yuji is kind of freaked out by toto and like acknowledges that in the spur of the moment in trying to get stronger and in fighting the special grade curse he got caught up in toto's kind of pace and got not manipulated they're still friends great brother like all that stuff but he kind of got caught up in his pace and got sucked into toto's little scheme if you will i guess if you want to put it like that um although it makes toto seem like he's the bad guy here he's not um but that's all it is right simple as that it's not really this toxically masculine hand that yuji played directly into um so it's a little bit weird and a complete misinterpretation of the source material in any case number five itadori killed choso's younger brothers um okay they were attacking him and his allies what like what 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 do you what did you want him to do there right what like what did you want yuji to do just get his ass beat get bullied die like they were in a situation on that final episode where if they didn't win the fight him and nobara were gonna die w would you rather him let nobara and himself die that doesn't make any sense if the main character doing main character things makes him unlikable to you maybe you shouldn't consume like anime or manga because like yuji fighting the quote-unquote bad guys and and going against characters that are literally trying to harm his allies i mean there's really nothing different that you could expect him to do and yuji even feels extremely bad about doing it after the fight right he he's very remorseful that he killed someone that wasn't a curse or exercised or attempted to exercise something that wasn't a curse and it clearly weighed pretty heavily on his conscience like yuji doesn't just take lives of like human-like beings very easily or willy-nilly right he's a very conscientious person about those types of things as we see throughout the entire series right and honestly i just find it a little weird that the main character doing main character things ruins his like ability for you in any case number four yuji let satoru gojo step in as a series protagonist what the fuck does that even mean no seriously like i'm gonna read this but i want you guys to 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 ask yourself what does that even mean gojo is the strongest character in the verse i don't want to hear what he's you cannot be stronger can you shut up he's stated to be the strongest and the power ceiling of the verse so far no feats no statements nothing has contradicted that thus far and I say that the strongest, like he can lift the most, he can beat everybody in the verse, like in a one-on-one -on -one or something like that, right? That's the purpose. Gojo is the strongest. Yuji is a newbie sorcerer. How do you expect him to not let Gojo kind of take the spotlight sometimes, right? I mean, and how does that ruin his likability? If anything, if anything, that just makes Gojo more likable than Yuji. Now, whether or not you think that, I don't really care. They're both great characters in terms of both likability, in terms of pool factor, in terms of depth and writing. They all have a lot of things to them that I think make them pretty cool. If you like Gojo more, dope. If you like Yuji more, dope. But like to expect or desire an up and coming character who has talent, yes, to surpass the literal pinnacle of the Jujutsu Kaisen universe is a little strange. And I feel like that's a problem with your expectations rather than what the anime or manga is doing, which is kind of how the last six <laughs> numbers the six uh, likability ruining things have been but let's move on to number three yuji continuously failed to defeat the special grade curse mahito now i mean like I i'm really confused how this ruins like ability he got his ass beat <laughs> like like okay i honestly don't understand this one like genuinely right because they say while it is difficult to blame yuji for mahito's actions by the time the shibuya incident arc took place yuji had failed to exercise mahito on multiple occasions how does that make him unlikable right i don't get it i don't understand mahito is strong he's a special grade curse for a reason right he's like one of the fastest evolving characters in the series one of the highest potential characters in the series a, a, a special grade curse that even nanami couldn't exercise and in fact was like damn even when he's in his like incubated form I can't take him. I could only imagine how strong he'll be as he evolves. 
Yuji keeps fighting him as he evolves. And guess what? At the end of the day, who's the one who beat the breaks off that bitch, Mahito? Yuji. Yuji did it. Yuji's the one who got the dub in the end. Kenjaku came in, ruined the fun. Yeah. But Yuji did defeat Mahito in the end. So even if your whole thing was, oh, Yuji didn't defeat the big bad, he did. Kenjaku just swooped in and stole the kill. Anyways, number two, he lost to Yuta Kotsu in a 1v1 battle. Bro, <laughs> Yuta's a special grade that Choso stated is like Gojo in the sense that if you face him, you'll probably die. Yuta has more cursed energy than Gojo. Yuta, now granted, this was a somewhat nerfed Ghetto, but Yuta in his first year as a sorcerer beat up Ghetto. He just bought, he just beat him. Yuta is strong. Like, I don't understand why losing a battle or not being the strongest character in the verse is such an unlikable trait to the people at CBR. Yuta beat Yuji, end of story. They became kind of like friends or allies, companions, however you want to call it, but I don't really see how that makes him unlikable. Um, I don't know, kind of kind of strange, it's weird. But number one, Yuji accepted his role as a cog in the cursed spirit killing machine. Oh my God, character development. The most unlikable trait of any character in a series. I don't know, man, their, their, their argument, amounts to Yuji is a lot different than the character he was in the beginning of the series. Therefore, he is unlikable. But there's like two problems with this, right? One, why do you think character development is an unlikable trait? Two, y'all clearly didn't like who Yuji was before this because you hated everything. He, you hated him from episode and chapter one. Why would you hate the fact that he developed and outgrew that? I don't I don't get it. It's like, I mean, I, I mean, I guess I get it. It's CBR. It's whatever. I, I mean, they make bad articles probably on purpose, but at least if the logic is gonna be dumb, can you make it consistently dumb? It's like you jump around, it's like you're like, I we the the beginning stages of Yuji are unlikable. And then at the end of this, he's unlikable because he's changed from the Yuji at the beginning stages. It's just CBR's a trip, man. If you guys ever wonder why I do this, I mean it's fun kind of debunking these and you guys seem to enjoy them. But yeah, that's it for the CBR list. If you guys did enjoy, you know, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys have other CBR lists like this or want me to check them out, I will be making sure to do more, kind of spread them out over time. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, this this is Broken Ronin signing off.